Let's go to Butler High School and Putin's on its first drive and it's quarterback Joe Reitenauer rolling out and hitting Ty Dote who makes the great catch at the Butler 39 and it's a first down. Then it's Rittenauer again to Dote who makes a terrific circus catch. He holds on and it's first and goal Bombers at the nine yard line. Wow. And the Bombers score here on the toss. It's Amaro Anderson taking it in from two yards out on fourth and goal. And Booten has a 7-0 lead with 4.28 left in the first quarter. On the ensuing kickoff, it's Patrick Brady of Butler fielding it at the 15. And he takes it all the way back before getting slowed down by Trey Cavalar after the terrific 48-yard return to the Booten 37. But Booten gets the ball back on the fumble. And it's Joseph Canizanaro with the recovery at the 37 for the Bombers. Big play there. And the Bombers' first play after the turnover, it's Joe Rittenauer to Ty Doherty, who makes another terrific catch as Sean Scott of Butler saves a possible touchdown at the Butler 19-yard line. The Bombers cap the drive here on the nice run from Rittenauer, who barrels into the end zone from six yards out, and it's 14-0 booting after one quarter of play. Butler goes to work here on offense, and it's quarterback Dominic Gentile heaving it downfield to Sean Scott, who comes down with the catch to convert on third and nine at the boot in 25. Then it's Gentile off the great play fake, zipping it to Scott, and watch him make a couple of great moves here as he gets into the end zone for the 17-yard touchdown, and Butler trails 14-7, just a minute nine into the second quarter. Butler gets the ball back, and it's Sean Centenaro plowing forward for 18 yards and a first down to the boot in one yard line. And the Bulldogs score here on the Dominic Gentile quarterback sneak. And we go to the half tied at 14 with the National White Division on the line. Third quarter we go and it's Michael Warren and Devon Smith combining for the sack for Butler forcing a boot and punt. But the Bombers get the ball back and it's Amaro Anderson on the sweep taking it to the one yard line and it's first and goal Bombers. Then Ryan DiLorenzo barrels in from a yard out and Booten goes back on top 21-14 through three quarters of play. Fourth quarter here, and watch the big hit here from Ty Doughty of Booten on third down, forcing a Butler punt. Nice hit right there. All right, Butler gets the ball back. They're trying to set up the screen, and watch the big guy, Charles Arnecki, read it, and he picks off the pass as Booten would go on the to top Butler 21-14 to capture the division title and move into the state playoffs with a 7-1 record. Coach said it to us, um, they like to run and shoot, so we... Uh, we control the clock, control the game. Their defense doesn't like to be on the field so, that long, so if we hold the ball, we'll win the game. Two years ago, we tied it, and last year we did. We uh, we lost the game, and we couldn't like we couldn't get to uh, play for this for this game right now. Now we just finished the drill, so that's a great job by the by our coaches and the team. It feels great for winning a conference champ as a senior. Last year, tying it. And this is a bigger goal by just winning it. It was never to us to rebuild the year. We, uh, since our freshman year, we lost like two games or something like that. And every year we lost like a total of like one game or something, uh, JV, varsity, everything. And, you know, we never knew it. We never thought it would be a rebuilding year that what they say. So to us, they were just a bunch of people who didn't believe in us.